What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, you know the vibes, man. We back with another video. This is that Rambo raid build, man. I'm telling you guys, stop struggling in the raid. When I put out a build, it's to help you guys grow. It's to help you guys be able to eat. It's easy, man. You just got to follow instructions. And if you guys are new to the channel, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. If you like the build, you know, tell me how you will either change it up or make it your own. This is just a template. Like I always tell you guys, this is my play style. This is the way the build works best for me. Now, if you want to be part of the raid carries and you do not have an Eagle Burial, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and DM me hashtag raid carry that will get you in the runs. And of course, today is Wednesday. So guess what? It's raid Wednesdays we start at 6 30 p.m. Eastern time and um we try to get as many carries done as possible man so if you're if you're for all things division man and you love the division like we do subscribe 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 man you can't go wrong like I tell you guys all the time don't cheat yourself treat yourself man and I'll see you guys at the end for the description peace Damage, 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 damage. Don't break the back. Don't break the back. I'm two. Come on, one down. Right, guys thanks for watching the footage man i appreciate you guys like i tell you guys all the time don't cheat yourself treat yourself man subscribe to the channel man you don't want to miss out lots of videos tu10 is coming out so much content coming your way i'm gonna cover everything trust me now let's get right into the build i don't want to waste your time all right so i'm running gunner i'll get into why i'm running gunner it's gonna make a lot of sense for you when it comes to this build all right so i'm running the mg5 and I'm running it with fast hands. Of course, this is a crit build. 
and because this is a crit build you want to make sure that you have fast hands because it's going to give you the reload speed you need to continue that dps that you want now i know a lot of you guys are going to be like oh my god the mg5 is getting nerfed in tu10 a three percent decrease in damage is not a nerf all right guys it's a three percent decrease don't worry yourself and i'm going to be running the bullet king as a secondary for obvious reasons never have to reload with the bullet king and the handgun it's up to you you can run whatever you want as a sidearm now some people are like why are you running gunner it's because without gunner the magazine size on the mg5 will be 85 if you have the large pouch with the 35 rounds it'll go to 85 but with gunner you get 100 <clears throat> okay so um i'm running the exotic mask and it's for obvious reasons and it's, it's for that 25 percent crit critical hit chance damage no critical hit damage you want to run it for that it gives you 25 percent critical hit damage and that's that's the talent and the perk that you're going to have proc the most and that's for any enemy that's in within zero to 15 meters so you want to keep you want to have that done and you want to have that ready to go right and um of course it has weapon damage crit chance and crit damage you want to put more crit damage on it as a mod slot and then I'm running three piece providence for obvious reasons. I believe every crit build should have at least three piece providence. It just makes it that much easier. You can either go unbreakable, glass cannon, it's up to you. This is a damage build, so you want to be doing a lot of damage, all right, guys? Make sure that damage is hitting. Holster, same thing critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and weapon damage. Of course, I'm looking for a better holster than this. If I find one, obviously, I'm going to switch it out. Backpack, I'm a vigilance fiend. I'm a vigilant fiend, all right? So I'm definitely running vigilance. I did have somebody that was using, um, uh, I forgot what it was. I think they were using Wicked and Trauma. I wouldn't advise you guys to do that in the raid. Keep it simple, keep it efficient, and uh, just rock with this talent right here. It's gonna give you 25%. There's gonna be a lot of times where you're not being shot at in the raid. As well as if you do get shot, the perk will reproc faster than you think, okay? And then, of course, I'm running the Contractor's Gloves, and that's for obvious reasons. 8% damage to armor does come into handy, and that's going to, of course, give you that multiplicative damage, all right? And, of course, you want to run that One Piece Petrov for LMG damage. Now, however, you can run a Petrov Gloves with that's not Contractor's just so you can get that 6% crit chance on it, or you can get more crit chance. And then maybe that way you could run more crit damage but I, I like to run it this way just to make sure you have extra damage all right and then of course you want to have the one piece grupo for 15 critical hit damage as well as you know you want to max out either your crit damage or your chance and as you can see this is pretty much a nice knees right here so this is this this is the basic setup this is the basic setup how you want to run your raid build this is how it's most effective for myself Right now, I'm loving the MG5 with fast hands. It makes it feel like an AR with 100 bullets, and it hits hard, all right? Talents, I'm running the Revive Hive, and I'm running the Banshee Pulse. I'm telling you guys, stop sleeping on this Banshee Pulse. It works, and let me tell you why. All you want to do is basically stun the NPCs you're going to shoot. Once you stun that NPC and they can't move, and you just shred them with that 100 clip. Shred them, reload, two second reload right back at it with the dps all right let's get into the stats as you guys can see i am running over 125 percent weapon damage that's just raw damage 90 percent all weapons and 37 percent lmg all right and also let's get into the crit all right this is what this is pretty much what makes the build you got to pay attention to this 56 percent critical hit chance as well as 190 percent critical hit damage and that 95 percent headshot damage is critical for the raid critical boomer's headshot damage weasel is headshot damage and and that's gonna give you that added damage bonus that you need man you're gonna need that i've seen some people with you know mg5 builds that have over 100 percent headshot damage so i'm telling you as well as having the crits that high so that 190 is really 215 crit damage because you're always going to have the mask procking. And if other people have masks in your group, just imagine how much damage you're doing because it's going to be stacking. 
so you want to make sure you have this build set up this way and like i told you guys my builds are just templates it's just a way for you guys to have fun enjoy yourself and for people who have been asking me in my videos why don't i show my watch here's my watch you can see how my watch is spec'd so if you're looking at your watch and you're wondering why your stats may not look the same way my stats do, it's because of my watch, all right? My watch level, shade level is 689. And as you guys can see, this is the way I have it spec. Um, if you feel like you could do this building differently, this is the way I think it should be ran. This is the most effective way for me to do it. And uh, just leave your comments down below. Leave, send me all the feedback. I appreciate you all. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe, man. It's your boy. You know the vibes, man. We out of here. Peace.